Kill teams form the backbone of every Death Watch army. They're incredibly efficient Space Marine units that basically just take the best parts about a Space Marine army and max them out. Uh, let's take a look at exactly how this works. So Space Marines are an already very efficient army. Unbelievably. They have incredible base profiles that get boosted by amazing strats, amazing characters, things like that. Um, well, the kill team is basically the same concept, right? Where it says, okay, let's take those basic profiles right. and basically max them out. Let's give them all objectives secured, take them in big squads, and give them special abilities that are unlocked by other things in the squad, yeah. basically getting rid of any weaknesses they actually have. Yeah, so what, what if you had the best units in the game? Yeah. And you could take unlimited of them. That's right. They had tons of special abilities, mm -hmm. and any weakness they had was gone. Sounds great. Yeah, it sounds like you're playing Death Watch. <laughs> um, this is an amazing army, yes. and it's only made amazing by the kill teams. Mm -hmm. Almost everything else in the book is like kind of okay. That's right. The kill teams are the heart and soul of this army. So we're going to go through every one of the kill teams. Yep. We're going to tell you what makes them so good or not. <laughs> in the one case. Yeah. Um, and we're going to talk about how to tool them up to get the most out of it right. and just really show you why these kill teams are so oppressive. So let's talk about the first one. Yeah, let's get it out of the way. This is the first and only stinker. This yeah. is, of course, the Proteus kill team. That's right. This is your classic kill team of, uh, you know, first burn, as some people are calling them. Um, and this basically is like your Death Watch veterans, the classic yeah. veterans. Your you Terminators, have Terminators, Vanguard uh, vets, yep, exactly. bikers. That's right, the old, the, the small bikers. And so there's some really cool models in here, obviously. They're sure. amazing. Everyone um, used to take their storm shields and storm yeah. <laughs> bolters. That's right. That's a horrible loadout now. Yeah, you can do it. They're very, very expensive, right? That's right. Um, you can compare them to almost any other Space Marine unit in, in the book, and they're just not worth what they do, right? You can't, you, they charge way too much for them, Yeah. first of all. Second, they don't get special issue ammunition anymore unless they're using their plain bolters. Mm. So they're yeah, storm bolters? The Death Watch uh, Yeah, bolters. the Death Watch. Yeah. So all of you who have storm bolters, you better start cutting yeah. and putting regular <laughs> bolters on them. But like, don't, because you're just not even going to use these. They cost too many points. Right. They don't do anything special. They're not lethal in shooting or combat. They're not even overly durable, especially when you compare them to the, uh, the rest of the kill teams here. Mm -hmm. We're just not into them at all. Yeah, one of the big problems with this is, so each of the kill teams has uh, five base models that you have That's to right. take, right? And in the, this the, case... These are the tax units. These are the taxes, yeah, exactly. And in this case, it is those five veterans. And that's the worst part about it. Terminators, they definitely have a role. Terminators right? are great. Vanguard vets, amazing. Totally good. Um, even things like the, the bikers. The bikers could be fine. They have their, their place. Yeah. But the fact that you have to start with these five veterans that are slower, can't do much by themselves, it just really kills any of the fun um, and, and effectiveness of them. So you could make them super cheap, you could give them storm shields, but really you're just paying so many points to get Agreed. the other good stuff. So let's that's get, Now that that's out of the way. Yeah, that's out of the way. Um, let's talk about all the rest because <laughs> they're kind of awesome. So let's talk about uh, the first of the exciting kill teams. And right. This is the Fortis kill team, right? The Fortis kill team is kind of is kind of my jam. I'm super into this it. This is your favorite one, isn't it? Uh, this is my favorite one because it's the one I could spam <laughs> and i don't think uh i will lose all my friends for it yes this is um, very true. uh the fortress kill team is the one that takes regular <laughs> intercessors on foot yep and that's great intercessors are totally good they're they're, they're, they're nice and point sufficient but they're not why we're here no we're here for the outriders which are the new primaris bikes that's right now ever since the indominus box came out we knew that these bikes were great they have a ton of attacks they're super durable four wounds t5 mm. they're super fast this is all amazing. Madly the, efficient. Yeah, the only thing that made them bad is you could only have nine of them. <laughs> That's right. Right? You can only take three squads of three maximum in your whole army. Right. Well, no more. That's right. Now, you can take up to five in one of these squads. Mm. And so, not only do you get five-man squads of them, but you can have unlimited of them. Right. Right? You can have 15, 20, 30 in an army, and <laughs> these are oppressive models on yeah. mass. They're very, very good. And a five-man unit is just big enough that, like, how can, who can kill a five-man unit of these? Who can withstand a charge of a five-man unit of these? They're super strong. And they're strong even as to combined with mm -hmm. the intercessors, but uh, obviously the op opportunity to combat squad them and take all the advantages of being, having them separate, they're very powerful. Yeah, it gives you that, it gives you that additional speed to really just get out there. Yeah. Um, you lose, obviously, some moons, some bodies. I mean, one interesting th thing about keeping them together, if you choose to, is um, the way that the kill teams are written now, right. you actually do get toughness five. You get the majority toughness. The majority toughness. toughness. Yeah, yeah. You get to, and you get to pick as the controlling player if yeah. you're tied. So you get T5 on the intercessors, which is cute. Um, 
And another weird thing is the bikes are actually much more maneuverable than, re than regular bikes. Yeah. Games Workshop has kind of doubled down on this concept of saying that the bikes function as infantry for the purposes of terrain only. They get, right? the, they get essentially the pseudo infantry keyword, which means they can move through walls. Yeah. Which is a big advantage. Big. And in some tables, if you were coming to a table and it was really dense with walls, you might choose to keep them combined yeah. because you're faster going through the walls than with your extra speed around them. But this is all good. You have the choice at the table. That's the crazy right? thing. You get it's to so choose. Flexible. Yeah. Um, and and of course, yeah. So you're starting with these big squads. They're all troops. They're all objective security. Yeah. These bikes are obsec. That's the crazy. Like obsec, basically infantry. Um, and of it's course, so good. You also, you know, we haven't talked about the elephant in the room, which is of course the uh, prime, the chief of pop carry. Right. Um, which already oh functions my. well with three bikes. Yeah. With five bikes, it's so rare that someone is able to cut through all of them to a point where you're not. Healing one, resing another. It just takes an already ridiculously efficient unit like the Chief Apothecary yeah. and doubles down on it, right? Yes, and these units can have huge footprints. You could do so much yeah. with them. But the funny enough, despite the big footprint, it's easy to get all their attacks in because all you need is like one model on the side base right. and all the rest could fight through <laughs> it. So really good. This is the backbone of your army because mm -hmm. they're fast, they fight, they're durable, they're mm -hmm. efficient with the Apothecary, with invulnerable, whatever you want to give them, they're all good. Right. This is why the Fortis Kill Team is great, and uh, we we love it. Get get painting your Primaris Outriders. <laughs> Let's talk about just the, the meanest kill team. Oh, this one's so mean. So uh, <laughs> there's these guys. He's got these Gravis Armor guys. Okay. Uh, this is the this is for the Indomitor Kill Team. That's right. Um, and um, we this consists of uh, heavy intercessors. That's right. Gravis that's Army. The, that's the base. That's the base. So heavy Five intercessors already a fantastic unit. That's right. Very points effect, uh, efficient for their wounds, et cetera, mm -hmm. so great. And you can take up to five other models in the unit, um, which can, can consist of eradicators. Oh, those guys. Those guys, okay. those guys, and inceptors. Yeah, um, and, and aggressors. And aggressors, that's right. We, we don't mention them because you know, <laughs> you're not gonna take them. So but. the aggressors would be, they're, they're great, but again, they're not as great as the eradicators, <laughs> eradicators. would be in this case, right? Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you why, for, there's a number of reasons. One of, the, one of the big ones though, is the fact that if you have an Inceptor in your squad, this unlocks a stratagem available to the Death Watch right. that allows you to fall back and shoot. With the whole squad. With the whole squad. Um, they've been very specific about what rules convey and which ones don't, things right. like that. And, and this one, they've been, okay, very explicitly, the Inceptor will unlock this ability. So now you have uh, 10 models, Four of which are eradicators with uh, with five ablative models that are incredibly tough That's and right. they can fall back and still shoot. Um, what? Okay. What? L l let's say this back to you again, okay? This is a 10 person unit. Yeah. It's 30 wounds yeah. at T5. Yeah. Okay. They already have Space Marine strats for plus one to save, mm -hmm. right? They have transhuman. Yep. Right? Yep. Um, this is already unbelievable. You could, you could, pay some CP to turn them into another chapter mm -hmm. to give them durability, mm -hmm. like feel no pains or ignoring rend or whatever you need. Yep. Great. This is an invincible block of wounds, but they are also four eradicators, which are the most oppressive tank killing unit in all of 40K That's right. by a mile. Yep. The only thing that eradicators had to keep them even a little bit at bay was that you could kill them yep. or you could tag them. You cannot kill them <laughs> because you have five, yeah. 15 T5 wounds before you kill a single one. And you can't tag them because they fall back and shoot. That's crazy. Okay, they did have one other disadvantage, though. They were only 24-inch range, oh, yeah. and they moved That's pretty right. slow. Yeah. Well, one CP, you deep strike this unit. <laughs> so, and you get stuck in. So that was also the weakness of uh, heavy intercessors. That's right. Yep. So you take this unit. All of its weaknesses are gone. It's fast now because it deep strikes. Mm -hmm. All your key things are safe from shooting and fighting. Yeah. And you can't be tagged. They still fight like crazy. The in the Indominator kill team is just not fair. It's bananas. It's so good. And this also sheds a bit of light on why we're leaning in so heavily on the bikes for the for the previous kill team, because this is your mid-board, right? This is your unstoppable mid-board wall that doesn't care if they get tagged. You can't get removed off yeah. the point. Your bikes are pushing up to the front. Your intercessors are kind of wherever you need them, to be honest. That's right. Um, they stay home. The mid. They stay home. It's cool, you know. Um, and, and, and these guys just hold the mid board for the entire game just oppressively. It is very expensive, right? This is about 350 points for the 10 of them. So you're taking these huge blocks. It doesn't blocks. seem that expensive. It's not. <laughs> but, but, um, but when you're buying these, right, you have to, you have to start with the five base yeah. models. And so you're, the chunks of points that you're moving around when you're building these yeah. lists you don't have many unwieldy. pieces. Yeah. yeah, no. You don't have many pieces. But once you combat squad, you're not going to combat squad the Indominator 
pretty much ever. Yeah. Because you want all the perks of being in one squad. No. But once you combat squad the other squads, you actually have a fair number of units to play mm -hmm. with, considering how tough they all are. You do. Yeah, you're just buying them in those big chunks. Yeah. Exactly. So, okay. The Fortis is your backbone. Yep. The Indomitor is your hammer. Mm hmm Let's talk about your toolbox. That's right. This is the Spectris kill team. I love the Spectris kill team. This one is... This one has some really interesting in interactions to me. And this is your sneaky boys. That's right. right. This is it's all your Phobos. It's your Phobos kill team, right? And the baseline is five infiltrators, uh, which super glad it's infiltrators. It's not incursors um, for a number of reasons. One of the main ones is uh, their deep strike denial bubble right. conveys to everyone in the unit. Right. They didn't have to do this. I don't know why they did this. I like it. So this is a massive 10 person deep strike denial. And let's talk about what we can actually add to the squad. You can add incursors, of course. Right. Um, which. I wouldn't, honestly. Uh, they're they're multi-spectrum targeters that ignore uh, minuses and things yeah. like that. That does not convey. And um, even if it did, it wouldn't matter. It, it Well, yeah, not truly, no. yeah. yeah. Uh, you can <laughs> add Reavers. No way. No way. Uh, because this is the one unit that will actually take away, the one model that will take away rules, right? If you put Reavers in, you lose concealed position. You know what? I love this. Uh, you know what? I, I love this. It's you know, so you know why? Everything about Reavers permanently yeah. sucks. <laughs> and it, this is a unit where they might have been maybe put in. And they made it so that by having a Reaver at the party, it just kills everyone's party. <laughs> like everyone's having a great time and the Reaver right. shows up and everyone's like, like, oh, uh... Reaver. <laughs> so at this point, I think it's definitely canon that oh. GW hates Reavers. Yeah. And uh, they're just trying to punk on Reavers. It makes me so sad because so, I was like, oh, because you do get terror, the terror troops yeah. and you get the shock grenades. Which there's good strats it's for. It's good. But then losing concealed position again. Well, because you could just put one in right. and get all those benefits, right? Right. But it also turns off all the benefits. Turns off right? all the benefits. So. And so again, this is something. This is something that works uh, antithetical to the actual um, idea of this army, which is the flexibility when you come to the table. Right. right? Ability to split up, not split up, whatever. So, anyways, all yeah. that to say, I wish you could Poor take reavers. reavers. Don't take reavers. Continue to snip their heads off and put them on other models. They're great for primary chances right. and other cool things. Uh, and then the last, of course, is the eliminators. Um, this is another unit. That used to be mapped, uh, capped out at three units of three. That's right. Well, what if you could take five in the squad? Now we're sniping. Oh, so good. Um, because all of a sudden, three isn't enough to snipe anything. No. Right? Even if you got lucky, you're not really killing anything. Yeah. Five, or even ten if you wanted to lean into it, is enough to kill for right. reals. And especially when they have a blade of wounds on top of them. But you, you could also mm -hmm. break them apart. Now, the other thing that you actually get that is the other reason I'm really excited infiltrators are the base unit is you unlock the smoke screen keyword. That's right. Uh, and this, of course, is basically um, a keyword that for one command point, when you're targeted, you get to be minus one to hit. It's lightning fast reflexes. It's real good. On a unit that has a one up or zero up cover save? It's great. What? So they're just so difficult to remove. These guys can sit in your backfield. They can they can block uh, deep strike deep strike off within twelve. Yeah, um, which honestly, they can block a whole backfield in some missions. And that's one of the few ways to fight space marines nowadays. Right. Is you say, okay, well, I'm going to scramble against them. I'm going to engage against them. And the spectre just sits at the back, and says, nope. And then we're going to kill all your characters. And uh, so mean. It's really cool. The only thing that's holding the spectre's team back is the fact that it's not an indomitor team. Yeah. Right. It's one of those cases where they're both Then great. Eradicators still kill characters faster because yeah. you blast through everything in front of the characters <laughs> and then blast the characters. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. So <laughs> that's the only the only reason this isn't amazing is because we have things that are way, 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 way too amazing. Yes, that's exactly, right? exactly. I think I think this kill team was in a really powerful but appropriate spot. I think the Indominator yeah. is a little too good. <laughs> the Indominator is a little too good. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about how we would use these kill teams ourselves. I totally. think we've kind of hinted at it, but generally... I think most of the time, if we sat down to put pencil to paper on a list, mm -hmm. we would start with three Fortis kill teams. Mm -hmm. There's five Intercessors, five Outriders. Yep. And then we would start with two Indometer kill teams. Yeah. Two is actually the magic number, because you can only it deep is. strike up to two units. Hey, there and you go. these are the perfect targets for that. Right. And you don't actually need more than nine, or eight in this case, sorry, eight sure. Eradicators. Because what we're doing is four Eradicators, one Inceptor, and then five Heavy Intercessors. Right? And then your characters and whatnot you can uh, splash in throughout mm -hmm. to make the rest of your army. Yeah. Now, the Spectre kill team, we think you would do some of the time. It's not an auto-include. Right. Um, depending on the meta, as you say. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the meta. Are you trying to take out... Really, obviously, they're best at killing, killing characters. They're really good at denying deep strike in a right. way that you can't do quite as well. Um, so it's very dependent on what your local scene is, what you're expecting right. to fight. Um, yeah, and then a couple of notes about the characters. Obviously, the, the, the Chief Apothecary gets... Even more powerful in this list because he's an auto include. Yeah, you're just like resing all of these. He's, he's already an auto include. Yeah, but he's not auto include. He's especially so much more here. And another yeah. thing that I think would be really interesting to think about is um, 
we're not going to go into all the relics, but I do want to talk yeah. about the 5 plus invuln bubble. Oh, <laughs> you think that's pretty good, huh? It's pretty good. So this is for anyone that has a uh, basically a relic shield or a storm shield. Right. It replaces that completely, so you're not as much of a, a tanky beefcake. Right. But it gives all of your units within six inches a 5 plus invulnerable save. So it's real good. That could feasibly, very, very feasibly be. So you half can put that on army. like one of the new Indominus captains. Um, yeah, yeah. That's so good. the relic shield it does work on. Yep, it still gives you the plus one save. You're just not getting the the, the four feel plus no pain. and the feel no pain. Yeah, because he already has a four plus as a captain. Oh, that's right. So he just loses the feel no so pain not even against more Yeah, no, um, it's really good. So it's a really to me that's exactly where you start. You take that. You take. Uh, the librarian powers are not bad. Um, They're you don't okay. Have to take They're not them. Auto, auto include. Yeah, but the apothecary you do. Amazing. So you, to me, it's like you take those two or three characters, you take those kill teams, and you're cooking. It's really man. strong. The reason you probably haven't seen this on the table already yeah. is because those heavy intercessors aren't for sale yet. That's as of right. time we're filming here, probably not for a little while still. No, I don't know. Because we haven't heard even a peep about them. Yeah. So you're you're seeing people get those four skill teams up on the table. We've got a friend who's painting. We just painted 15 bikes, That's a lot, yeah. um, or even more. I don't know. It yeah. looked like a lot. <laughs> and uh, but the Indominator kill teams you haven't seen, and they're kind of required to make this all mm -hmm. work. Um, but as soon as those models drop, I think you're going to see a lot of these armies on the table. I think this is a very underrated army right now, for the reasons that you just yeah. mentioned. People just don't have the models, but you know, definitely mark our words. Death Watch, they're yeah. on the horizon, and they're going to be really scary. This is a really difficult army to deal with. Um, really, really excited to play them, though. Going to be a lot of fun. Death Watch players, I'm I'm happy yeah. for them because this is it, this could have gone very badly, and this was a great treatment for, yeah. for them. Uh, they get all these these amazing stuff from the Space Marine Army, which ironically they don't really need. That's right. Because the core supplement They're, is what they so needed good. is the, just the data sheets. Yeah, and exactly. they got the data sheets here, and that's that's the heart of the story we're trying to tell you is you can take the best models from the Space Marine Army, which is pretty much all the new Indominus stuff. Yeah, and you could just take more of them, and they're better in every way. Yeah. more durable, more offense, less taggable, just better in every way, and more of them. So it's just more of a good thing is a really, really good thing in this case. And that's what makes this army tick. That's what makes these kill teams so great. Absolutely. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, let us know in the comments below what, you, what, what you're thinking about for your own kill teams. Yeah. Um, whether... Tell us how you make your firstborn kill team actually work. We would, we would love <laughs> to hear this. Yeah. Uh, because we do love the models so much. But regardless, we'll get these guys on the tabletop very soon. And hopefully we'll see you there.